Do it for your big mama. Do it for Pop Pop. Hi, <laughs> right, thanks for joining me today. Let's go over a story that's hit big pretty, pretty good in the last uh, couple of days, and that deals with our Surgeon General and the outrage of some of his comments when he was addressing reporters. Now, what happened was he was talking about communities of color being hit uh, particularly hard uh, during this outbreak, and he used some terms to relate to them, I guess. Um, he said, do it for your abuela, do it for your big mama, do it for pop pop, right? And uh, some people, or according to the press, all black people are totally offended and outraged by what he said. Now, clearly this is, this is not true, but let's go to the story. This is from the Daily Mail. Surgeon General is under fire for telling African Americans not to smoke, drink, or take drugs as highly offensive. Use of Big Mama as a uh, coronavirus pandemic hits black community hardest. Surgeon General Jerome Adams pleaded with the African American community and other communities of color to follow the coronavirus guidelines Friday. He asked Americans of color to do it for abuela, do it for granddaddy, do it for your big mama, do it for your pop pop. He later defended uh, using those terms saying, I use the language that is used in my family, but not before being met with criticism by the black community. He's under a fire for pandering to the, uh, black community for his offensive instruction to stop drinking and smoking during this pandemic. Uh, twice as many black and brown Americans have died of uh, COVID-19 compared to their white counterparts, government data shows. Adams assured Americans of color there's nothing inherently wrong with you, but said social ills may have contributed to this disparity. So uh, one thing that I found interesting is right here on the screen, this is our Surgeon General. Apparently he's been Surgeon General for a couple years. It shows how much I pay attention to who the Surgeon General is because I didn't even recognize him. But uh, yeah, he's been Surgeon General for like three years. So good, good for this guy here. Um, Surgeon General Adams, young, young guy, he's 45. Um, but congrats on being the Surgeon General and I guess congrats on all the outraged people because you have now brought this to my attention. Now I know who the Surgeon General is. So there's a good outcome uh, for that <laughs> as well. Now here's a clip of what he said. Stay at home if possible. If you must go out, maintain six feet of distance between you and everyone else and wear a mask if you're going to be within six feet of others. Wash your hands more often than you ever dreamed possible. Avoid alcohol, tobacco, and drugs and call your friends and family, check in on your mother, she wants to hear from you right now. And speaking of mothers, we need you to do this, if not for yourself, then for your abuela. Do it for your granddaddy. Do it for your big mama. Do it for your pop pop. We need you to understand, especially in communities of color, we need you to step up and help stop the spread so that we can protect those who are most vulnerable. And so the press does what the press does, and they go out and they find critics and quote them. In fact, here's someone, one man on Twitter, David Deloach, said, and again, who's this guy? Uh, some random guy on Twitter. Let me tell you something. We don't talk the way movies, songs, and the media portrays us. The Surgeon General is trying to relate to a life he never lived. Listen to the voice and they way he speaks. Here's a typo there. He has never called anyone Big Mama, and neither have I. Well, that's interesting because this random dude on Twitter knows how the Surgeon General lived his life. And if the Surgeon General said that that's the phrase that he uses in his family, I have no reason to doubt him. Uh, you know, that is an interesting thing about these terms is a lot of people use different terms for their, their grandmother and grandfather. And we'll go on and quote an activist. Blair Hardaway wrote, I really would like to say I'm surprised, but of course not. 
Trump sent the only black guy on his team out there to chastise black and Latino people for smoking and drinking as if that's the reason our communities are predisposed to this virus. Just disgusting. See, so, so we've gone and quoted a, an activist um, who makes a big deal that this guy is black. He's the Surgeon General. Who should be talking about these things? The Surgeon General. And here, I suppose if I were a journalist for the Daily Mail, it's a lot easier just to uh, take some tweets and print them because it fills up space and you don't actually have to come up with any your own content. But we were quoting critics of this guy. It's a big who cares. You know, these are just some of these guys are just random people that we don't even know. And the story ends with uh, PBS NewsHour's Yamika Alcinder asked Adams to respond to those who might have been offended by his colloquialisms during the briefing. (laughs) You know, I think one of the, if there's any silver linings to the situation that we're in right now, is that when this is all done, I think that there is a better chance that when people get outraged and offended, more and more people are going to tell them to pound sand. More and more people are going to say, I don't care if you're offended. You know, the ridiculous thing here is this is the Surgeon General. He's putting out a message to people, and he used some terms trying to relate a little bit. Who cares? No big deal at all. He said, Abuela, Big Mama. Pop, pop. You know, I, growing up, uh, my grandfather, we called him grandpa, and my grandmother, we called her grandma on, on both sides. That's, that's what happened in my house. But as it turns out, I talked to some friends, and everybody had different names for their uh, grandmother and grandfather. And that the Surgeon General chose to, to pick some of these terms to relate to more people, I think is a positive thing. You know, it's ridiculous that we are trying to criticize this. (laughs) It really is. And hopefully when this is all done, there'll be a whole lot less people uh, criticizing language the way that it's used today because it doesn't help. I am a pragmatist, and I think that we should do things if they work, whether you know, you put judgment on it or not. But if something works, go with that. So whatever needs to happen to reach the most number of people, I'm in favor of that. If if the government came up with, a, a, I don't know, a TikTok video about washing your hands, yeah. Should they have to do that? No. But if it works, go ahead and do it. Do what works. And to me... The Surgeon General using the term Big Mama and Pop Pop, he was trying to use what he thought would work. That shouldn't be criticized. And I think that those people that are criticizing, my opinion, those people that are criticizing are just looking for their own attention is what they're doing. But, yeah, what the hell do I know? Uh, Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments. Have an awesome day. Peace. Thank you.